Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. I'm going to be switching gears a little bit. Um, I'm going to demonstrate how I paint my favorite lure for targeting rainbow trout. This video is certainly not to deter fly fishermen away. Um, my channel is called Living on the Reel. It's going to consist of fly fishing and spin fishing, my two favorite things to do. So I certainly don't want to lose any of my fly fishermen subscribers because of this. Um, I, I just want to broaden my channel somewhat. Um, this, this color scheme, a Palomino color, I came up with last spring uh, fishing my local river. I had painted this pattern up in a much larger minnow size, and the smallmouth bass just went crazy over it. I, I could not believe the amount of catches that I got um, of, of smallmouth bass just on this color pattern. I decided to paint this lure up in a two and a half inch minnow and take it on our annual fishing trip to Vermont. And I was very, very pleased with its performance. I believe the first cast that I, I used this lure, I caught an 18 inch rainbow and it just went on from there. It was, it was phenomenal. This, this lure here, it, like I said, it's two and a half inches. It dives one to three feet. It has uh, size 10 treble hooks on it, and I fish it basically like you'd fish any type of jerk bait. So stick around, and I'll demonstrate how I paint this. Okay, so in my helping hands, I have that two and a half inch minnow blank. Um, I tape the bill, and I'm going to start out with some opaque white. The 5212 in the Createx color. And I'm just going to take and coat that entire lure blank with the white. Kind of hard to see here. I'm going to heat set this with a hair dryer and then I'll move on to my next color. I will do the heat set off the camera because it is kind of loud. So I will return with my next paint color and a dry lure. Okay, the next color on the list is Badger's Freak Flex in the Eye of Ogre Orange. And this color, to me, in my opinion, really matches up well with the Palomino's orangish color, orangish yellow. You just want to spray that at an angle. You want to make sure you're not getting down in the the white of the belly. Go ahead and heat set and I'll be right back. Okay, and for the final color I'm going to be using Createx Flamingo Pink, and it's going to be a small pink stripe down the middle. With my white and ogre orange, I spray about 35 PSI. When I spray the Flamingo Pink, I'm going to drop it down to about 18, somewhere around in there. Um, I don't want there to be a, an abundance of pink. So 
go ahead and spray it real light. I apologize for the air compressor noise. And there you have it. Go ahead and heat set that and move on to the next step. Okay, for the next step here, I'm just going to put some super glue in the eye sockets. I'm going to take a 5 millimeter eye. And there's the eyes. But next, uh, I'll dip this bait. I dip my all my lures in KBS. Um, it's a very, very good finish. Very protective, very good protective coating to put on the lures. So I'll get that set up and I'll demonstrate how I do that. Okay, so what I do next is I take a paper clip and... I cut it in half and then it create I create a a drip wire that'll go on the back portion of the lure once it's dipped and then I just take another paper clip and unfold it and that'll go on the front portion just go ahead and remove this tape here it's on the bill. And there's the lure. You got to make sure you keep this stuff pretty much airtight or it will dry up. It's a little cloudy because I had to add some thinner to it. You just take and you put your lure on your paper clip like so dip it down in there bring it back up nice and slow check for any air bubbles I do not see any And you just take your paper clip that you made the hook on. And then I just hang it over there to dry. And it takes depending on the humidity in your in your house or where your workshop, whatever you're you're doing. Uh, typically I can put the split rings and hooks on it within 24 hours. Um, like I said, it depends on your humidity of your, of your house or your workshop. But once this is dry, we'll get the hooks on it and split rings and it'll be ready to fish. All right. 
here's the finished product. Got my split rings and hooks on it. I'm ready to take it to the water. I did do another one, much larger size. This one, I believe, is a seven and a half, eight inches long. Um, figured I'd try it for musky. I do have to put the uh, the clear coat on it, and when I do bigger lures like this, I I usually use uh, uh, Bob Smith two part epoxy. It's a little bit thicker, holds up better. Yeah, so that's the lure. Um, if you have any questions, um, please let me know. Any comments are welcome. Um, like I said, this this video is certainly not to deter the fly fishermen away. I, I want to keep you guys as subscribers. Um, I'm just looking to broaden my channel. Uh, a couple other ones I've done while I'm thinking of it is... Uh, here's an emerald shiner. And somewhere around here, I have where it is. this is a black nosed dace. Uh, when I sell these, this is typically my best seller, um, just because locally around my area, that's uh, what everybody fishes with, or I, I know they're called several different things, but uh. I'm waiting for 300 blanks to get here with everything going on, you know, everything's slow and just waiting. Um, supposed to be here, I think, in a week or so. So I'll be painting up a bunch of black nosed daces. But uh, I appreciate everybody watching. And please, like I said, like, subscribe, comment. Um, let me know if anybody else fishes these, they have any success with them. I know I have, and I look forward to seeing the next one. Thank you.